hi friend today we are starting the qtql course on youtube channel uh, the tech coder hub so where i teach you the basic to advance and some the prerequisites for uh, the beginners to have the c++ uh, knowledge of the basic uh, to like uh, uh, the classes and the oops concept of the classes how to write and how to write the function overloading and overriding and basic data types understanding then i will teach you the from the scratch and i also created the roadmap for uh, the qtql learning learning path where we can learn the qtql and the models and qtql layout and qtql controls so, so there are some of the qtql controls like the views delegates imports and the actions and the menu and the pagination control where we have like container controls item pen and page and also we learn dialogues like pop up dialog drawer and others like the window application window and what is the difference between application window and the window and uh, the property of the window uh, like toolbar header and footer and content item how to uh, create the custom component and how to customize their toolbar header and footer and content item to create uh, the application and also the control customization like how to customize the button and to achieve uh, the behavior and uh, here the some advanced qtql like the connections between the signals and between the classes to handle the C++ signals into uh, the QML and the loader uh, to uh, load the dynamic component which is created in the QML and uh, the combination of the stack view and the loader and how to create the dynamic component and use it to the QML, which is like basically the meaning of the dynamic component which load on the runtime and the connection signals and the signals uh, inside the QMLs inside the C++ and both C++ and the QML uh, another one that connect the signal with the functions and JavaScript file import JavaScript functions and the custom components and QML file register in C++ handle singleton base and after that we will learn about uh, the QMake and CMake the build tool and how to handle the QRC files multiple and then we will learn advanced complex layout uh, to handle uh, or manage via the anchor and layout and the combination of the both and uh, those who don't know anything about uh, the qtql and they just want to start uh, from the scratch so what they need to focus first they need to learn the basic c++ from like uh, the oops uh, concept like inheritance and abstraction these two are the most important things uh, to uh, use in Qt C++ and second things uh, Qt in C++ wrapper you need to learn basic data types uh, like uh, whenever we communicate between the C++ Qt C++ to the QML uh, the Qt support their own data types uh, to handle in QML like uh, we cannot use a standard string we need to use the Q string instead and the QML supported data types so uh, these things you need to learn and the second in basic UI you need to understand so that you can test your C++ classes functionality uh, the basic QML you need to learn how to handle the rectangle mouse area button row and column how to manage the layout and anchors and basic control for the pagination like item page and pen and the property and the javascript function and you need to understand deeply the how the property binding will works and how signal will work so how to create signal and how to emit the signal inside the qml from the one component to handle another component custom component creation and use 
and the dynamic component and uh, some of the views and layout like a uh, loader stack view grid view and list view and stack layout swap lay view and the property and the uh, model understanding how to assign the model to these view and how to assign the delegates how to customize the delegate how the delegate property will works and the sum of uh, the connection between the c++ to qml you need to learn and qml register type and qml context property and qml register singleton types and we need to also understand how this uh, will work and what is the difference between uh, the r3 and the most important thing you need to learn after uh, creating the class into the c++ uh, how to use q property and how to use in q invocable uh, in q invocable and what is the difference between the both the macro like q property and the q invocable and the different different uh, uh, functionality of the q property and after that uh, some of the models uh, like abstract models uh, in written already in c++ we need to override some of the function and like you abstract item model list model and how to use table model tree model and these are something you need to learn in c++ classes like inheritance abstraction and function overriding and overloading so this is the roadmap we will see in upcoming video and we follow this ro roadmap and understand one by one uh, all the components uh, are written and we create beautiful ui Le let me show you uh, my github channel here the github uh, cpp qt dev so i created some of the ui and also already published on the youtube channel so you can take a look so i created this something these are the ui the home automation and this is the complex layout this is something and this is the glass ui and uh, this is the scooty eagle board dashboard the source code available in the github you can check and this is something simple uh, layout this is the complex one this uh, the circle are moving so we will See how to create such type of the uh, ui for the dashboard for the desktop development for the hmi development and for the mco development i also create separate uh, uh, course for the mco learning how to create the gauge how to customize the gauge as per our requirement so this is something uh, the ui you can create uh, and even more beautiful than this like this is i created uh, my beginner face and after that i learn and uh, and this is my youtube channel you can visit uh, yeah so i'll publish uh, all the video in this youtube channel this is my youtube channel so you can subscribe that youtube channel we will uh, post here and also uh, post on the linkedin uh, my all video so this is my linkedin page you can uh, follow on the linkedin page and connect uh, there uh, here i post all the video one by one as i publish so this is my linkedin page so you can create this here follow this so that's it for this video and we will move to the next video and publish so thanks for watching